So here in the middle of this void, we have a machine here. And these two people are talking on the side like, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. But if we just hold on this machine, then it starts to generate some cubes for us. And then we just harvest some of these cubes here. So we get 64 of these Charonite things, and each one of these is worth 64 of whatever it is. So we just harvest all of those up, and then we just keep on going deeper, it seems like. And it creates a lot of weird sounds, too. But now we can't make any more, so we have to break all of these. And if we break enough of them, we can make a destabilizer that we can place over here. So once a cube gets generated, it should be easier to break. But we need an Elmarine to operate it, which we don't have any of those yet. Ooh, there's some yellow stuff. Oh, hello. That's the Elmarine here. Fool's Fool. gold. So we can plug that into the machine. And then this block here is a little easier to break. And these two are still going at it, like playing some weird game. Coming over today, just need to finish this up. Well, whatever this is, we're definitely going to maybe finish it. If this is something that can be finished. And we're also seeing more of these yellow cubes show up in there. Definitely want those. And the best part is this machine can affect all these three cubes to break. So we might just start to focus on those three to break instead of the rest of them. But we'll probably need to break more of them anyway so we can make another destabilizer. And then power that. So these two working together should make this even faster to break. Excellent. Oh, Are that one just ran out right of juice. Now, so we'll just give it a little bit more. And some of these other machines need the yellow stuff to create them. Like this channel cooler here sounds like a good idea. We just need 1,024 of these black cubes. And we're starting to get 60 meters deep into whatever this void is. 64 meters deep. Not too sure what that holds for us. Except for more yellow things. So we'll just keep going at it. Maybe we'll get another destabilizer in here. They're starting to get more expensive. But they're still doing good things for us. And the center cube here should be extra quick to break. Only like four clicks or so. Excellent. I like to add a lot more than the rest of these that take forever to break down. We can get another destabilizer, but we're really close to affording the channel cooler. And just like that, there it is. So if we place this guy next to the machine in the middle, then it can extract the cubes even faster. Oh yeah, that's way faster. We just have to keep holding on the machine to keep it from resetting to that initial position. And just like that, now we're 100 meters deep and we can make another destabilizer. We'll put that on the corner here. So now this corner piece here, oh, I forgot to juice it. But once we do that, this corner piece here is also quick to break. And if we can get another one on this corner here, that should be even quicker than the center cube over on this side. And whoever is talking in the yellow here is just not having it. You are making so much sense right now. So we'll build up the cubes that we can, put another destabilizer in the corner here, juice it up, and then this corner piece, oh yeah, three clicks to destroy it. I love it. But some of these machines also require the yellow stuff to make them, and we're not oh, wow. collecting them at the fastest rate. But more of these cubes are being filled with the yellow blocks, so we'll just have to keep going at it. And then maybe put in one of these reverse valves, maybe? Keeps it from resetting to the original position. Sure, we'll just set that up right over here, kind of. And that takes a black cube to function. Interesting. But once we plop this down, it's not going back up. Excellent. Saves a little bit of time, but now there's even more of these yellow cubes showing up in the blocks. All right, let's get another destabilizer. Oh, this also affects the corner. That's going to be super fast. Still three clicks, but it's doing pretty well for us. I want to get this industrial stabilizer. Not stabilizer, destabilizer. The opposite. Since it says this quadruples the power of the crushing process, we have enough yellow blocks for that. Now we just need enough of the black ones. And we're already halfway there, living on prayers and such. But I also just bought a channel cooler, so we have a little bit more to go. But look at how fast we're generating those blocks. Oh, the best part is, since the machine in the middle isn't going down, if we pause a block halfway through, it doesn't go away. So there's a little bit more benefit to that. And we're 165 meters down. I gotta stop buying these destabilizers, but they're so helpful. And the sad part is, even though we're starting to collect more of the yellow blocks, that also means we're getting slightly less of the black ones. Since these cubes are only 64 units big. But 64 is still a good amount to climb by. So once we just collect enough of these, we have 2,048 of the black blocks. Like that one mobile app that went crazy everywhere. So we can upgrade one of the destabilizers that we have. Have. Let's put it on the corner here. Oh man, that was a lot of resources. But now if we just put 64 of the yellow blocks in there, then it should make this process, oh yeah, even quicker. That was two clicks on the corner there. Kind of a weird unit of measurement, but I like it. Now, is there anything else that we can create? Ooh, an auxiliary pump. That's a lot of words. That looks like it automates the harvesting process. That would make my life a lot easier so I don't have to click as much. So let's put it behind the machine here. Nope. 
or I can't? Oh, it's a reverse valve upgrade, so we need one of these first. Well, it's a good thing we already have those. So we plug that in and then plug in some of eight of those. And look at that, it's automated. It's not as fast as me holding it down, but at least I can focus on just harvesting the blocks. And we just get that weird hollow sound throughout. It sounds like ice breaking on a lake, but it also looks like it chews through the yellow stuff pretty quickly. So it's a good thing we're collecting even more of those. We're only a few blocks away from getting a second industrial destabilizer, but is there anything else that we can make? Not yet, it looks like. Money. Just ran out of juice, fill it back up. Maybe it's a good idea to have a second reverse valve. Ah, it's building the cubes too fast. All right, I gotta do it when this thing runs out of juice again. But having one of those to go with the auxiliary pump would just make this go a little bit better. Ooh, that's a new sound. We got a purple block here. Wow, canatite. And he's going at it again, but waiting for ages. It hasn't been that long. I've been do I've been at this for 14 minutes, <laughs> but he's like, where? Hold alt to take a closer look. Ooh, see-through mode. Think I could use it to remove misplaced machines. Oh, demolishing currency. But the guy on our side, he's like, chill. I'll be there in a minute. So maybe instead of Canatite, it's like can it, eh? Yeah. But we are almost there to having enough for there we go. So now that the pump is cooling off for a bit, we can get the reverse valve in here. And then these two working together should make sure things go extra well. But speaking of extra well, let's get another industrial destabilizer in here. Right over here. But we don't have enough yellow blocks to fuel it. And we're starting to get more of these purple ones. And then Q over the machine. Oh, that duplicates it. Neat. Let's get it over here. The faster we can break things, the better. It also looks like the purple blocks are starting to take the place of the yellow ones because we're not collecting nearly as much of those. But at the same time, we're also unlocking new buildings. A resonator in an enrichment vat reacts quantite. Wait, that's different than this. With charnite to produce elmarine. Oh, okay. So black and purple will make yellow for whatever reason. I definitely want to see that in action. We just see more of these black cubes here. Mr. Yellow over here is getting really impatient. He's like, chop, chop. Can't a guy just automate a machine to harvest blocks to his heart's content, even though he doesn't really know what the ultimate purpose of these are? Like, I'm not even sure why there's a machine in the middle of this void here. I'm expecting Squidward to run through. Oh, but we got the second industrial thing going. Excellent. And we can make an enrichment vat. Let's get that set up over here. So we need 256 black and 32 purple to make. So let's just get that going. All right, it looks like it's working, but oh man, that is a slow process. I would also like a machine to automate the breaking of these, but that looks like that's what the entropy resonator is for. The problem is all these machines rely on being around the central pump here, and I only have one of those. So space is pretty limited, but look at that. It's halfway through and it's starting to turn yellow. Hopefully that makes a lot of yellow things. I do like the sound that the purple blocks make though. Like the guy said, it's like the brass candlestick. It's a weird analogy, but I don't disagree with it. And there it is. Woo! Oh my goodness! How many was that? 260 something of the yellow blocks. Oh, that's amazing! And it is very cheap on the purple side of things too. I love it so much. Oh wow, apparently it's been two weeks? Time is moving fast. I've only been going at this for 20 minutes. This guy is getting really upset. Where are you? I am here. Yeah, there really is no way to describe where you are. Give me a minute. You're giving him weeks. All right, but let's set up one of these entropy resonators. Okay, it's gotta be next to a cube. So maybe we should set it up where this industrial one is. Sadly, it doesn't look like we get resources back, but we need to trash this one. Oh, oh, we do get them back. Oh, excellent. So the resonator can go here to affect the three and it takes a purple one to power it, wrapped in a coil, and now it's breaking them. Good. So this is becoming really automated with some gentle little chimes as well. But man, those cubes really start to shake violently when they're about to break. So now that we have the resonator going in, it looks like we don't have any new buildings yet. Ooh, but we can set up another extracting channel. We just need 512 of the purple blocks. Wow. At least we're getting more of those as we go. We should be starting to get enough purple blocks to make, yes, another extracting channel. So let's move on over. Okay, we need enough space for this. So let's set it up over here. We need, oh, it actually looks like it sets up the area for us. Here's an idea. Let's just set it up in between the things that we already have built. So now we have a second pump going. Oh, that needs to start all the way at the beginning as well. But when it builds up over there, yes, it's starting to break those cubes. Oh, this is amazing. And this first pump is 360 meters deep. If you ever wonder where you can find in a void, this is it. But that auxiliary pump needs 4,096 to make again. That is crazy. I guess it's a good thing this first pump is making so many black cubes now. Oh, but we're starting to get the yellows naturally. 
naturally again. Starting to make me wonder if there's a currency past purple. But now we have enough for the auxiliary pump, so now this one is automated. Or at least it will be. And this is interesting. It looks like the cost to create the next one depends on how many there are in the world. So because this reverse valve got replaced, the cost went down again. Very interesting. So now we have six cubes constantly being harvested, at least until the resonator runs out of juice. 400 meters deep. I wonder when the next new thing is going to show up. But until that happens, I'll just put in more industrial destabilizers. So there really isn't a lot of time where a cube isn't being broken and flying to my little collection here. The guy over here hasn't even texted again since the last time. So maybe we're waiting on a depth milestone. So now's the time where we manually boost the extraction process if they're increments oh 64,000 stones wow but if it's based on increments of 64 as that is the name of the game then the next milestone should be 500 and something 524 oh whoa blood of the land get beta piling i am scared it seems i don't know where i am oh you just figured that out he was so entranced by the machines he didn't even stop to think about that but we have a new resource here so we didn't need to get 524 meters down it's just there i didn't even hear the sound it made everything it was like a dream. I would think our guy's in a coma, but he's texting. Is there a new building we can make? Ooh, a pump station. An auxiliary pump upgrade. Quadrupled pressure. Oh, wow. But it takes so much to operate. My goodness. Oh, wow. There's a few new things here. A recycling tower, a streamer tower. Channels resources via stream. That takes so much to make. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's focus on what we can make right now, which is a pump station. And that goes right here. Thankfully, we have enough resources to make it function. Provides quadrupled pressure. So, wow, it's extracting them super fast. We might be able to save room on the fans then so what are they saying over here oh so he's just talking so we can stay sane like he went missing wait except a strange rock up north huh i haven't even i haven't looked there i've been holding up for whoa hello oh <laughs> that is weird hollow rock it looks like it's been here for a while this is getting weird <laughs> i don't know if i like it so apparently this guy doesn't have a phone but he's still able to text with like his mind or something okay we're just gonna stick to these machines for a little bit because I don't know what else is going on here. So in the natural progression of things, the red blocks are replacing the purple ones. So we will need this charonite some. That can be placed next to the enrichment vats, I think. And there it's making quantitite. Is it quantitite or canatite? And this first pump is 500 meters deep now. Uh, whoa, a beta piling oxidizer to produce charonite. Wow. These buildings are starting to get really expensive though. 4,096 of the red ones. I guess that's fine if you're collecting a whole bunch of them. Kind of like we're doing here, but it's still not the most. So we can set up for extracting blocks over on this side of this first pump by removing one of these enrichment vats here and then we get a resonator set up so now that's starting to harvest that side albeit at a very slow pace but this fan isn't needed anymore either so that's more room that we can unlock and then these enrichment vats are as a whole just going to be moved elsewhere because we'll need destabilizers to go with this resonator as well and we'll just immediately upgrade them to industrial strength which it looks like is going to be working a lot better for us and there's so much more red blocks showing up too is this entire black block going to be replaced with a red one at some point that'd be crazy oh but we can make the recycling tower now allows machine recycling to return 90 percent of resources wow or can we only one i wish i built this way sooner that is tall you go in the back then now it takes a red block to recycle it well it should be fine we're collecting a lot of these we have a thousand of them now Whoa. still nowhere enough to make the stream tower yet though although okay i placed this wrong so we recycle it and then we get 90 percent of them back Neat. Trying to keep everything neat and orderly here, even though these black blocks kind of make it hard to see things. But we're still making it work, and it's working very well. Oh, now the guy's actually curious about the machine, so he stopped freaking out. Well, that makes one of them, I suppose. I'm just here collecting all sorts of blocks I don't know what to do with. I'm sorry, what? E, yada yada on the side, and then there's entropy radiation. Which one is that? Oh, the entropy resonator. Yeah, of course. Duh. Okay, now we have enough yellow blocks to make another pump. Now we just need a lot more of the black ones. So our guy's talking about making the machines from cubes somehow and he's talking about yep those stones are not infinite these cubes are on their way to being entirely red we're over 600 meters deep on this one that is ridiculous and now we can start to duplicate what we did over here over to this machine by removing the fans here because they're really not needed okay maybe one is needed do i have one over here oh 640 meters down 
Neat. Which, yeah, there's a lot more of these red blocks, so I guess it is kind of hot. And oh. I really don't know what he's talking about, the stones being blue. They're very clearly purple. Three different shades of purple, as a matter of fact. Ooh, but look at this. We have a beta pylene oxidizer. That is a big one. But if we make this which is very cheap on the other resources, by the way. We just need 8,000 more of the red blocks to make it function. But these blocks certainly are almost entirely red. That is crazy. But now let's get the pump station here. So now we can start to mirror things. If we had enough yellow blocks to fund this. We're also running low on the purple ones. So we need to get these vats going as well. A very weird trading economy we have going on here. And we don't even have enough of the red blocks yet to get this oxidizer working again. I say again, but I mean like the first time. We're pretty close though. 7,000. So it makes me wonder if this is going to automatically fund these buildings when the resources run low. Or if it's going to deliver resources right to this rock here. That is very bizarre still. Oh, but there we can get it working. Yes, the oxidizer is going, even ah. though it really doesn't look like it. Oh, but it's glowing now. That's cool. But just like all the other converters, it takes a very long time to process. I can't even make an industrial destabilizer anymore because they don't have enough of the black blocks. But now I can, thankfully. So we'll help the resonator over here. Oh, I can make another one right away. Oh, because the converter burner carbonizer whatever it got done oxidizer that's the word oh yes more yellow cubes at my disposal i should also start to make more purple ones just a very back and forth economy of things we have going on here is this cube entirely red it was we're getting entirely red cubes now that's kind of crazy all right so we'll get you set up right over here or we can get another thing over here let's see we set it up next to the industrial pump oh if there wasn't a destabilizer there just oh, delete you and then get the new thing working next to the industrial pump which happened to run out of fuel at that exact time. Thank you very much. But now they're both going, yes. Oh, they're kind of overlapping each other too. That's interesting. But now I can start to harvest black cubes again. Good. We need a lot of those for the streaming tower. Got to hit those Twitch clips. Oh man, to make another industrial destabilizer, we need 10,000 of the black blocks. Those are getting expensive. Ooh, but the oxidizer gives us that much. Where to put one exactly? I'm not sure. Probably over here so we can get the black blocks harvested faster. And it seems like the red blocks are as far as it goes, which is fine by me. I don't know what I do with a fifth resource. Ooh, I built 64 machines. Neat. It doesn't even really look like that many, probably because I deleted some of them or some of them got upgraded. Do I even really need more than one vat? I don't think I do because I'm not really in big demand of purple yet at least. What I am in demand of though is more of this charonite. We make a lot of it, so one burn of this should hold us for a while. It really bites into our red supply, but we're getting that back pretty quickly. Plus, we're going to get it back even more once all of these blocks get converted to full red. I say almost, but we're still like 200 or so away. Still kind of exciting, though. But now the purple cubes are starting to be in demand. Thankfully, we still have enough for the streamer station. I really wonder if this is just going to beam resources to that cube up there. Maybe it won't. At the very least, I hope it automates things. Oh, no. Now we're in demand of the red cubes because these pump stations, they both ran out of juice. It just got very quiet and that is ominous needed to keep things going especially the red ones it looks like there's yellow blocks starting to be in the red ones but they're also incredibly harder to break even with all the things going uh okay wow oh no there is a new resource uh I'm sorry, what? A what heckin' gem? <laughs> Even this guy isn't having it. It takes ages to break. I have to come up with something if they keep showing up. Oh dear, I hope they don't. Does that mean there's a new machine? Oh man, there is new machines. An injector? Swaps a random resource from cube with a heckin' gem? Weird. That's expensive though. We also have a disassembling tower, which is a recycling tower upgrade. I'm just gonna focus on the streamer tower for now. There's another gem. There it is. Get on out of here. This really does take a long time to break. Oh my goodness. All for just one of those. Oh, but yes, there's a streamer tower. Okay, let's place you up next to the recycling tower, probably. Hopefully you don't need to be next to anything. We'll just get you going right up over there. Oh, so much went to it. Oh man, that was so many resources, but woo. It just changed the look of things. Instead of blocks, it's like little lines now. I'm not too sure what that means for me. It's not refilling things because these destabilizers still don't have the funds in them. So what's the idea of the streaming tower? Let's check back up with that rock way in the north. It still doesn't do anything. Okay, so streamer tower does 
unknown things. Channels resources via stream. Yeah, but stream for what? Oh, these heckin' gems are making my life a whole heckin' lot harder. But it seems we are starting to get more of them as we are less than 100 meters away from 1,000 meters deep. But I need way stronger destabilizers for that. I do have enough of the gems to make one, but I need more of the yellow stuff. Thankfully, I have four vats going. There we go. That's a lot of resources for that. So now it's the black blocks thingy. Oh, there we go. Okay, probably place you over here next to the red blocks that are being made. Do that. And then, ooh, thankfully I can fund it. Oh, there it goes. Heck yeah, heck gems. Now, if only there was a gem block. Ooh, it's gotta be over there. Of course it does. Of course it does. There can't be a gem show up next to the destabilizer that I just made. No, no, no. It's gotta be way over here. Thankfully, though, that doesn't scale too badly. So I just need three more of those to make another one. Oh, wow. I clicked the cube 6,400 times. That is ridiculous. I think that's the gem being over here finally at least i thought so unless it's just more of these blocks doing that it might be it's kind of hard to tell anymore but now we have effectively doubled our red block income because of the extractor over here doing its job oh there's another one yes and it's being destabilized woo we just got that really fast. Yeah, those destabilizers are doing the work. But now this one over here isn't being affected by a destabilizer. Oh, come on. Now we just need one more for a second destabilizer. And there it is where the destabilizer can't reach it. Yay. But now we have it because I guess all these three industrial destabilizers working together may have the difference. Oh, yes. Time for another destabilizer. So instead of placing it over here, I want to place it over here because it affects three of the blocks happening over here actually four of them that's really good and we can fund that right away oh yes this is glorious and we have reached a thousand meters of depth that is ridiculous and there's a lot more that we have yet to uncover with this game like i still don't know what to do with this rock up here but that's some interesting lore happening in this void of an automation game but if you guys want to check out the craziness that is happening in 64 that's the name of the game then it releases on march 4th so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more of it then be sure to let me know thank you very much for watching and sub to intern and thanks to the channel members including bread ancient elixir one corby farm dakota c donomoto devion x lucas s splatter sax the real nickname hateful herald peggy sue jubilong tj seriously sarcastic angel lily bites the minor within, Degarity, and Sands.